to go and attack that a bomb side and Skrunk is the only one here he's got some backup down and long but it's gonna be too late he needs a lot of good shots right here taps and picky one but Corey double back-to-back -back headshot that is absolutely wild that might slow it down enough look at it now the backup is here I'm gonna have to see a replay of that they finally take down Fozzy. Still Kido and Krimbo left, but the Glock is just not enough stopping power. Krimbo on his own, running out low. Now, they're all very low on health. This is technically doable. He's going to catch at least one out there. Should be the kill. It's going to take a minute, but he'll get Corey down finally. So one versus two. Gonna at least get a chance for a bomb plant, which is kind of great. I mean, that's better than I was expecting. Just looking up on top of the box. Oh, they're out there looking for him. He ducks back down, looking down in the ground, and it's not going to matter in the end. He's, he's quick. His first bullet accuracy is excellent. He's definitely a mechanical force. Nice to have a couple of players like that on the team at any given point in time. Could be taken down, you know, but a good trade. They forced up in this round behind the bomb pond. That's why it was so important that they got in the previous round. Skrunk's going to be taking on Tabson, but they're keeping on the pressure. Molotov down in the pit. They really want to isolate this fight, but Soulfly staying aggressive, actually spinning around for the flashbang. That's great work. And it leaves Searson out here, no help at all. Surprised the grenade didn't just outright kill him. Gonna get a little, a little bit more damage in, but he should not be able to win the round. And will get taken down eventually. They really, really, they needed to get the kill. Almost about to be shot in the side of the head. Gonna be really careful. QB's right on the other side. Searson's gonna get one in return, but oh. this is surely a free kill. He's thinking about it. There's the timing. But he couldn't follow it up. Searson quick with the AWP to bring the kill back, and it's a three on three. And he is looking at where he wants to take his next duel. So many choices, so many options, and Soulfly will get the better of him. You don't want to be wasting time at the B-bomb side. It can quickly get really, really disorganized. Stepped into the Molotov there. That's a little bit awkward. Deep grenade coming in. Sisson's going to get one. They run up close, but he's just a bullet away from that. Corey's hunting him down. And low on health. Krimbo, he just has to connect with one bullet, and it's a job done. Good job at the end. And the bomb obviously going up as well, but... There was a very timely Molotov at the window on this post-plant defense. A lot of people will throw that maybe a little bit early, but because Big were able to assemble that boost, they had Sersen peeking over the window itself. They knew the timing and 30 seconds left in the round. This is speedy stuff from Big. You know there's an AWP saved somewhere, so maybe you just try and either run it down or you make sure it doesn't actually get into position, although it will be. On the catwalk, Fozzie to take down Sin. That's interesting, and what a nice little run for the smoke. He almost tagged up Tabson completely as well. Searson's now trying to find a better angle for it. Four on two. And he's going to get a free kill right there. Down the middle. Got to be a little bit careful here. That's a Fozzy coming up long to find that kill. And now Searson, he might, he almost needs to get this kill and just kind of run for it. I don't think he can come back up this ramp, surely. Fozzy's going to be able to take him down. Great round out of him, a triple. Hey guys, as always, I recommend you to check out Hot Pizza GG, the best case opening website. Recently, they've added new back to school cases, which I wanted to check out. I decided to open Braininator case for $12 and managed to unbox Cetrek and for Dragon King for $17. However, I really wanted new clothes, so I decided to risk and upgrade this M4 for Specialist Clothes Foundation with only 6% chance. And luckily, the upgrade was successful, which means I got new pair of gloves for just $12. Withdrawing them was also super easy. Just go to inventory, click on the skin you want to withdraw, and that's it. You will get the trade offer in less than a minute. If you also want to play on Hot Pizza G, they have plenty of different payment methods, as well as a cool 50% bonus if you use code VLADAPART. So guys, I wish you good luck. The link will be in the description below. Five players alive in the post plant for big and coming from long and CT becomes much more difficult when your long player is dead. Now, Skrunk, he's trying to sneak on up, but he might actually catch Sersen off guard. He may have if Tapson didn't take him down, but there seems to be a lot of contingencies here for Big, and now they're already on the hunt, taking down QB. Fozzy, he wants to keep this off moving forward, but he will not even have a chance to fire back. Yeah, we saw that Sangal there, despite not having too much to work with, just decide to keep on moving forward, and it almost felt like they were disconnected, and that's a great shot from Cersei, and that's exactly what you want to see. That's tough. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, Fozzy. Trying to stay low, but Kido surely going to be finding him any second now. Yeah, there yeah, we go. That's that. Great angle on that, too. Yeah. Are they going to go and clean up the rest? The M4 is still kind of here in position, but there's just no way to shut down four or five people coming up long like that. They're going to hunt them all down. Or to take this kind of space. Well, let's see. Pushing up in front of the smoke here. Corey, it's a nice bit of movement. That limits the space that Sin has to play around that smoke with. And now it's a 5-on-3. 
So a little bit of an attempted play. Skrunk probably could have had that one. A little bit surprised. Tamsin's going to be excited about it. Firing the orb inside. QB realizing, yep, there's going to be some pressure coming in from the other side. And Soulfly again, really quick to get out long. Tamsin's going to find him though. QB has wow. to hit the shot, but he can't. Crimbo is so fast. And just like that, what, five on three into a three on two instead. And they're backing on out. Instead of just focusing on the on the hallways for coming into the B-bomb side, he's worried about middle. Yep. It pulls his attention away, and he just he lets a, a player out. Crimbo just can walk out to the side. That, that's right what here. happened. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as soon as he has to juggle between the two positions, that's when everything becomes so difficult. And that's when Crimbo found a timing. So, Fozy and Soulfly, they have to connect on this one. It's a pretty decent Molotov to slow them down. There's only about 40 seconds left. You're right, this has to work, and Soulfly running up, not ready for the fight. Sin's gonna be able to take him down. And now Fozy on the other side, just the Deagle out. He's got three people to fight. I, I don't even blame him for trying to use the Deagle. I don't think the ult would have been any better, but he's not gonna be able to do it. And Skrunk has to... Yeah, seems very risky. They don't have that much money either, so... Sort of stepping into this retake is already putting the, the half in danger. Corey's going to be taking down Tabson, so this is a little bit maybe close to that 10-second mark. Counter Flash is coming out, and Corey is out of the round. Scrump will fall next. Sin with a beautiful close to that one. He's going to pick up four kills in total in the round. First half right now. Yeah, it's a great closeout from Sin. He has been having a pretty quiet game, but the Academy player standing in for Bobbin, of course, who is under the weather right now, showing up. That's just great shots. Ooh. There we go. Running a little bit past. Flash is coming in. What's up? The smoke still hiding, though, is Corey. So that might be interesting. He's going to get one, but a good trade. Two for one as they take down Soulfly and Corey both. And now at least a platform to get this bomb planted. And all the while, they've been looking back. They've been having the, the backs covered. I think sirson has been looking with that AWP. Nice shot from Fozy. And without a bomb plant, now it gets a little bit tricky, but they're still in a decent position. Oh, look at this. They're going to go aggressive. Running up behind it, QB taking down Krimbo. Molotov is a little bit too deep to put any real pressure on. And Fozzy at the edge of the smoke. He saved them once. Maybe he could do it again. Some good shots ringing out, but Tabs are going to be reminded there is an orb out there waiting for them. Are they going to peek into it again? Nice run and gun. I can't believe it. Taking down Fozzy. And now it's all on QB. One versus two. And now that the bomb is planted, Searson can probably go back long again and just kind of hang out and doesn't actually have to stick around. He's at a really dangerous off angle, though. QB trying to edge it out, but Sisson will take it down. Good kill for him. A really annoying player in that position. That's not a bad idea. Fozzy going to be walking up close to the middle of three people in front, and it could have been a beautiful spray down, but it backfires a bit. Soulfly in trouble and shot through the side of the wall. Sin able to pick it up, and are they going to be aware? There's a double push coming out long. Ten seconds as well, almost on the clock. Searson's going to catch one. They can still lose this round, but they've made it past. The bomb has escaped, and they're going to be able to put the bomb down as well. They had almost no time. If they screwed up anything in oh. this, they were going to be in trouble. Two versus two now. It's Habson, and it doesn't look like QB. He does tr sort of pretend to check, but not really. No intention behind that one. All on Skrunk instead to try and hold on to it. This is round number 14. They really, really badly need this one. Deep Molotov, but doesn't put anyone out of position. And now he's out in the open into the crossfire. And a oh. nice jump. Oh, he lands the headshot on Krimbo. He's going to save the round. Excellent quad kill. About the frags that they were finding across the map because they they actually killed Soul, Soulfly, who has been the long player from Sangle. They killed yeah. him towards B, and they started second guessing and thinking about what position they're actually supposed to go to and how to avoid the stack. And you could see that actually. And he has to fight them both at the same time. But he did, and it worked. So more power to him. Good trade. Bozy. Not able to kick lick the trigger just quite yet. Or he's going to get a couple of kills in return with the FAMAS and even steal the AK-47. Keto, though, look at how far up long he is. Are they aware? I don't oh. think they are. Yeah, this is going to be a free kill. Taking down Soulfly, and the bomb is coming up directly behind. And Sirson, he has so much utility to work with. He could surely slow down this short push, but he actually opts to use nothing. Yeah, he put out the smoke, but I don't think he did. They're just pushing anyway. Oh, my God. QB's taking down... A great headshot there against Searson. Triple for hit. And oh, look at this. Wow. Yeah. Straight B rush. They're going for it. Fozy to open up. Keto caught. Not really ready. You want to be able to hit at least a couple of shots or at least get a chance to before anything happens. Skrunk up in the window, taking down Tapson and Krimbo to follow it. This is beautiful. Probably don't need to be much more now. It's all good. They've won the round. A bullet. Yeah. A couple bullets. Not as new. Hard to break down. Not a, not a lot of bioavailability in that, but, you know. I don't think it works into most people's macros.
not part of uh, anything a nutritionist or dietitian would recommend. And running into a little bit of a nade at least. Oh, this is scary. Flash. Oh, what? Oh, two for one. Double scout headshot from Keto, and he's back for wall. Who wouldn't want to be a little bit more aggressive behind it? Taps him with the pistol. <laughs> he's gonna close up the round. Oh man, this is beautiful from Keto. Oh, he, I, he didn't spot that second. Okay, no. just barely, just very fortuitous for him. A long send, and Keto, he's already in the pit, connecting with Primbo, and QB, nice opener, double opener from him. Excellent flash support from Corey. Those were not successful round because they're gonna find all on his own sin out here And he's gonna they're gonna get shot in the back on the front nice little spray He's gonna get a double it's pretty good, but I still don't think they should be throwing away these rifles two versus three Gotta be real careful if they could find scrub Maybe it's possible, but he's just in such a powerful position he's gonna pick up one and even steal that AWP away So yeah, we see that Sangal's just bunching up towards the double doors. It does seem like they want to poke and prod now that they've been spotted, oh, they're being approached from multiple directions. Yeah, a little bit of a crunch coming in. Molotov behind them, so if they weren't already committed to moving forward. They definitely are now. Skrunk and QB, though, handling business. Searson down in the middle. Missing one shot through, but he's going to get that one on Fosi, and now it's getting really worrisome as well. Sin would love to pick up a rifle so that he can actually help out. It's going to be the AWP stolen right in front of Skrunk. Oh! Nice shot coming through and Sisson to pick them up. They get absolutely out sniped in the middle. They didn't know where they want to go. They were receiving so much different information in this round, but they could never piece it together. They didn't, they just didn't know, but well done by by mostly Sersen. Just finding that kill on Defozi. That that changed the entire outcome of the round there. This wasn't bad from Sin either. They just spent. Yeah, 30 seconds on the clock as well. Trying to get out middle. Oh, flashed away, actually. That's an easy shot right there. Run boost at the same time. Searson recognizing how many people are there, and they're going to be real careful walking close to the bomb like that. Got more kill happening for Crimbo and Fozzy and Corey. Two versus three at about 15 seconds on the clock. That bomb is now only just getting picked up. This is so scary. Oh, but Crimbo caught just a little bit too comfortable down in the pit trying to get into it, and he's going to go down. So two on two now. Tapson and Keto, no nades. They do have the fuse kits at the minimum, but they could be in a little bit of trouble for this retake. Fozzy is up there, and he's been great with the AWP in this map. Attempted swing against Corey. He's going to get Tabson killed. That leaves Keto sneaking up on the stairs. He catches one, but Fozzy's there for the return. It was so obvious what they were going to do, and they had, like you pointed out, no grenades to do it with. This felt like it was working out beautifully for, for Big, but the, the double fight and the fact that Crimbo felt like he was afforded this time. He... Sersen knows he needs to find an equalizer, and Fozzy's trained in on the angle, too. So, in an attempt likely to just find the op, Tapson walks away with a kill as well. It's not too shabby. And, oh, no, Crimbo with the 5-7 up close. 5-7's been good recently. He's going to get that one. Could have easily picked up Soulfly as well, and that would have been a real disaster for the Sangal side. Oh, this is so interesting. Sin, Sin threw that flash in, not knowing what it would actually accomplish, but QB now is... He's on high alert. He doesn't know where anybody is, and... Oh, too fast. He reacted too quickly. And yeah. the shot. He probably felt like that was QB checking the corner, but I don't really think it was, so he probably would have had an extra millisecond to do something with. But they're coming for Tabson's position, and he's going to get the kill on Fozzy. 20 seconds, and they should back out. Yeah, why risk it? It's not worth it. Tabson, I don't know. It's hard to say. He could justify trying to get the shot as they come across for the B bomb site, but truth is, that orb is super valuable oh. to Big. Oh, this is really close. Well, this is, they've this lost is, the they, they lost it. Oh, yeah. no. They, How wow, is that possible? They, they misjudged the timing on that. They, they needed to go through double doors or full sanded up cat. That's really curious. They... Uh, Oh, I mean, the, no. yeah, he just definitely, as soon as he was halfway through the tunnel, he knew he didn't have time. But this space is being taken back by Big. Soulfly on his own actually finds the kill on Crimbo. That's not too bad. And now things get interesting because Sersen's here by himself. He wants to take the fight to them, but that counter flash, it is dissuading him. But <laughs> just pre-firing essentially around the corner with the P250 is enough. Yeah, he was just throwing bullets into the smoke. Not even, I don't think even really yeah. trying to hit anyone. Who's any best of three? You're, you're done. You're out. Right. Sirson. Yeah, he sees it. Not going to miss the opportunity there. Mm -hmm. It's do or die for Sangal. 
one thing we know is that they should not be running back to the B-bomb site. So just keep it going. Strunk and Corey both going to go down. Sears and having himself a great round actually ended up with a first entry fragger is just taken down for free. Pretty much no contest whatsoever. And it, he just doesn't care. Like He can take any fight right now and he has the confidence to win it. That's the kind of position where he can back out. He, do, he doesn't actually have to fight, but he's like, yeah, but I'm, sh I'm just so confident in it. It's actually ridiculous, but it's beautiful as well in the, its own way. Skrunk sneaking up with a tech nine, getting kind of close. Yeah, heart attack moment for Krimbo. I don't think it'll make a difference. The bomb is in the middle and Beak have discovered it as well. So they're just going to be grouping up, taking up positions here. What a tough map to play here. 29 kills on Searson. One more for the 30 bomb. He's getting a chance. I already respect this from QB. He's going to give him an opportunity. And it's 16-11. Searson dropping 30 kills against Sangal in the opening map. Yeah, that's going to be huge. You're right. If that Molotov doesn't actually push him off the box, they're in a decent position. We'll see Krimbo still up here. Not touched by it, but the Glocks most certainly will connect. And that's a good start. Sin will take a kill, but he's trapped back here. Or maybe oh, not. What? Oh, what an amazing sequence of headshots. Running out of bullets at the end, but he's brought them back into the round. Otherwise, big... No chance for a retake if they just get knocked out here. Bomb is planted. And Tamsin and Searson up against QB and Fozzy on the other side. Smoke is fading. No kit picked up right now. Don't know if there is one in play, but they're right next to the bomb already. So, shouldn't be time that they're running out of. Nice headshot. The stolen USPs and Sangal women the pistol. Grenade training down. Close up. 5-7 in hand. They're running right up. That's a nice flashbang. Oh, that helps them out so much. Yeah, they might be a little bit low, but they're going to be able to clean it up. That's well done. At least one of those flashbangs absolutely helped them out. If the 5-7 is the first entry there, some rounds that were maybe a little bit easier on Dust 2. So I'm still going to be a little bit happy on their behalf if they're able to, to pick up these rounds and not screw anything up. I think that's super important. It is their map pick after all. Wow, that is so oh. much damage. Yeah. Oh, they're throwing Whoa. Away. Sis, Wait a and second. He's having himself a field day since oh, joining my goodness. in. And QB, he's, he's probably dead either way, just because of the radius of the bomb. So, yeah, he could stick on here. They're obviously not going to be able to win the round. Oh, a little bit of a lineup here. That AK gets stolen back. That's actually, from his point of view, probably the best that he could have done. I still think it makes sense to me. Easier to, to count. Ooh, Krimbo gets taken down. That was nearly a lineup. Look at how damaged they all are on that T side. Searson's here. He's going to pick up one, but Corey's doing him with any real health. Oh, faking out the, the, the peak. That's absolutely great. Sin is here in the 5-7, nearly able to get the job done again. Skrunk and Fozzy so low. One bullet there on Fozzy, and he's out of it. Keto going to be flashing his way through. He almost catches it. It's so close. Oh. But he can't get the job done. Skrunk will take him down. We're down to 17 seconds, so eventually they're going to have to speed this one up if they really want that bomb plant. Krimbo's down there as well. Good little peek up on top of the bicycle, and they're not aware of the second player. Bomb is on the ground, and this is essentially an isolated two-on-five fight that they are just outright losing. They don't get a single kill. They are still sticking around. Nade goes a little bit too deep. It does have some damage. And look at this setup here. It's going to be hard to swing against. Yeah, you swing wide, and you're actually just swinging in to Keto, who's up on the sandbags. So when no flashes are thrown around the corner, that's a really powerful setup for Big. Yeah, that, that's a very strong double hold. Just having two players mowing down the same angle. But, oh, taps in left, actually. Wait, Fozzy can get the bomb now. That no-scope actually opens up the possibility a shock it would be to big if they ended up losing this two on five. Sneaking in, fozzy has got the right idea, but he still can't win the fight, Tamsin. He might be low on health, but that AK is just always one headshot away from the kill. Triple on Tamsin right here. QB going to get one, but Tamsin will close it out. A nice quad kill here on the captain himself. And like we mentioned earlier, you said this Sangal sometimes don't look that comfortable when there's very little time on the clock. This could be happening again. One in the pit, one in the bomb site, and all the way down to the library. Low on health is Tams and Sin's going to be going down after just the one kill, and yeah, easy find this is absolutely perfect. And look at the flash assist that come out from QB there. And now they're making him the A rifler, or at least in that round they did. And Keto has swapped spots. Oh. And oh no, yeah, that's that's not good news. I think he was trigger for them to go. It feels like they want to put some speed behind this. Two people playing on the quad side. Sin, the spray is good. And Krimbo would have loved to have joined in on the back of that, but Fozzy holding the angle. And now two versus three. And they're on the bomb site with the bomb already. It's a quick flank, though. Tapson's right here. Fozzy, he's already holding the angle. 
And this might just be enough. Oh, it's the double, in fact, to close it out. Absolutely want to try and play Vertigo against Big. Yeah, they're making a great case for themselves, as is Fozy. Great round from him. You can see he is on top of the scoreboard here, finding entries, finding d defensive shots in the post plant. It's all working out for Fozy. This was in vogue a little bit, I'd say 2019, 2018. Everybody was doing this, but not working out this time. Just, just everybody suspects it now. But yeah. there are four people here. This is something Sangal does not expect. Yeah, but do they really have the weapons to do anything about it? Leading with the Mac 10. I mean, Grimbo is going to get one there, but he's getting found. Sin, not enough stopping power on that Deagle. Just can't do that same spam that you used to be able to. Sangal absolutely playing a beautiful first half here against Big. Yeah, not been... seeing any of those mistakes that we saw on Dust2 either. Somehow it isn't. It definitely looked like it. But now Krim Krimbo, he's going to attempt to swing. Works out for him. Oh, two kills, in fact. Wow, a third beneath the porch. And this is exactly what Big needed. Just an individual heroic effort. And this is just, it's a lockdown at the brackets. One of the first, so I, th I think Krimbo's already been spotted here, but they just can't communicate it quickly enough to Skrunk. So I'm pretty sure Corey saw Krimbo on the first swing in there. And he just... And to only have four for Big going into what should be the harder side but maybe they want to start the offense here. They're pushing on down, and a one for one. Okay, Krimbo's uh, feeling some type of way about this. Searson, that is some really unfortunate timing. You could see QB had the idea, but he sort of spun around last second and ended up getting his crosshair just away from that angle. Shrunk and Fozy now, two versus four, and a very, very aggressive round coming out from Big looking. Wow, okay. Playing battleships. Yeah. Sin seems to be one of the few players on Big that's really spamming that, but this is a this is a dead scrunk. Well done from Sersin coming up from the middle pit. Sangal are looking like the much more polished team yeah. when it comes to Inferno. But QB, oh, Sersin, nice shot to take him down. And now Tapson, he's going for a little bit of a duel with this player on the stairs. Fozy finds the return, but Sersin has already jumped behind Fozy, but into a crossfire at that. That is unbelievably bold what Sisson just did, and he did pay the price for it. Now they're gonna have to try and go up against the Duelies. Smoke is up. The Duelies just kind of love that half the time. I mean, it's it's a great position, flashing the way through. A lot of bullets coming in, and Corey cleaning it up. Spins around. It's Soulfly to get the last one. Yeah, they need some backup from Banana really soon. Preferably just running straight for the middle, and you can kind of tell that is what's happening. At, actually. So now they just need to buy some time. The cavalry is going to be here any second now. 45 seconds left, by the way. And Tabson trying to swing into the bomb site. Going to get shot in the back. Krimbo with the one kill, but they still need to find Fozy down here. They don't realize now they do, but he's actually there. Soulfly coming up. He was there on the flank all along. Pistols out, and they're going to be able to win it. Huge double kill. Huge flank coming out. Haven't seen Big been able to even make some of the default stuff work. Some of the just the, the, the sort of core level Inferno that you would expect. Even that seems to have been a trouble, a little bit of trouble for them. So I'm definitely shocked at that. This might be a little bit of a better shot. Tabson's going to be taking down Soulfly. So they've got the entry into the B-bomb site. Fozy's showing up for the bomb plant. And he's going to get a couple of great kills. Oh, is he really going to steal this one away? It's close. Grimbo almost getting himself killed right here. And now the rest of Sangala started to show up. Right, they're right there behind the smoke. And big, they are not being afforded a, a solid position to plant. There's no CT smoke at present, so there's just no way in. Sin, Sin can't find a way to plant the bomb. Krimbo, 63 HP, one versus three. This would be miraculous, but so unlikely. He's playing around the new box now. And as that smoke dissipates towards coffins, there are just so few angles he can work with. There, there's essentially mult, there's two crossfires that he's going to have to deal with as he makes his way on forward. He has no idea if there's anybody banana either. Takes the risk on there not being somebody there, but now they are aware of his position. How panicked are they? Krimbo, not hearing anyone from the middle. All going to be coming out the library. There's the first lineup. Strong kill to begin with. Setting up a flashbang, and he peeks right before it oh. pops. QB flashed as all hell, but still able to get the kill. That's huge than what Big were throwing out when they were on the CT side. You don't get to say that often, because Big usually have some of the best nades in the game. Yeah, that's what's so surprising, isn't it? We're really expecting it. Fozy. That's a kind of a all-in right there. If he misses the shot, he's definitely dead. 
Krimbo will follow it up, but it's still a one versus four for him. That has turned into a one on three. The bomb is right there for him to pick up, but now he's sandwiched in. They're going to be walking up right behind him. He's going to be real careful at the moment. Scope down to the bottom of Banana. He has the right idea. He tried to do the one versus three earlier, and it didn't quite work out. And I don't know how you were meant to peek this coming around the corner. Oh, he actually did look for it on the barrel. So he had the right idea. Around the way from giving us that third map on Vertigo. Oh, Boom. double nade into the pit. That was perfect. Great flash setup there. Yeah, Sangal were a step ahead of Big in that one. Just every single way. Oh, Keto in charge of checking that. Not going to be using too much utility to do it either. See if there is a retake coming in from Sangal. No flashbang needed. And that's a little bit risky. Three people and they lose that fight. Nice find from Krimbo. That's I I was expecting them to flash around the corner before they went for it there, just as a QB. 18 and 8. He's had himself a really nice map, but again, one versus three like this, not gonna be possible, especially with Krimbo out hunting for him. I hate people who play about Bounty Hunter. I know it's such an annoying hero. Yeah. It's just adds to a little stress. There's already enough stress in Dodo. Don't need any more. Oh, oh here we go. Okay. The pistoliers have shown up. And they get wiped out. Keto and Tabson. Looking to make his presence known in the apartments. He'll be dueling against Krimbo. Oh, oh we actually find Sin first. That's interesting, but nicely done on Sirson, though. QB's going to follow it up. So they'll lose a couple of players here. He's able to pick up a rifle in the middle. I believe Corey's there with the AK-47. That's a good crouch out from Krimbo to take down QB. And he's so ready, you know, to run back either. They're simply out of time, so they're going to have to commit to it. This is going to be a huge shock. Oh. 14 seconds on the clock, and they're trying to wrap on this three-man stack. They're going to find the first kill there on Corey. Still two USPs, and they clean it up. Oh, dear. They were able to do it. That could have gone horribly wrong. What was it, like 15-6 at one point? Now we're up to 15-9. 15-5, I think. I think it was 15-5. So, yeah. Yeah. So, a little bit scary, maybe. Nice attempt there from Keto. He had the right crosshair placement, but couldn't actually finish the kill. Three versus four now. And a deep nade. Going to put a little bit of damage into it, but Fozzie's going to be taking down Sin in return. So, right back into a three-on-three. -three. As they attempt the long wrap. And Tapson, he's just staying posted towards B, but this is this is looking great for Fozzy. This looks very promising, and he's able to take both. This is the map for Sangal. Tabson, no chance here whatsoever, and it will be Soulfly to take him down. Sangal, close it out after a dominating first. Skrunk taking a little bit of a look while they're bringing the bomb up. They're not even slowing it down. Slight fake just to see if there's going to be a reaction. There are sometimes double or triple nades set up here. I'm running through though, and those flashes are not helping out the CT side at all. They get wiped out. Searson is on his own, trying to backtrack that one. I like the little fake plant just to bait out some nades. Yeah, that is that is a very necessary step in planting the bomb. And we saw that Big obviously didn't have any grenades. But what I didn't love about that from Big is how disconnected it felt. There was a flash, and we only see concerning to see to see that happen. This is the opener from QB there. Perfect crosshair placement to take down tabs and just smallest of adjustments. And even though the flash is pretty good, there's just too many bodies that Big have to deal with. Everybody, that is going to be tough for Sangal to deal with. As long as Sin doesn't peek it. Oh, no. That is a poor understanding of where that smoke lands from Sin. Maybe Krimbo didn't actually hit the smoke perfectly there, but that is an, a free entry into the bomb site. This is going to be impossible to defend for Krimbo now. And he's just pushing through. What? Yeah, he wants to oh, be the what? hero, and he will be huge. Double. He almost had that last one on Skrunk as well. So flames touching Sis, and he's going to come charging through. Wanted to stop the bomb. There's only five seconds. If he had, that might have been the round one, or it would have been. Tabson, though, showing up with the headshots, and I don't even know understand how, but somehow it's a one versus two in favor of Big here. Corey back listening for that bomb defuse. It's a 10-second defuse as well, so it's going to be a long time still. Five seconds on it. He's running out of bullets. Oh, oh. nice headshot. And Tabson, he's going to spin around for it, even without the kit. But there's a mid lurk coming out from Corey. And if they're not careful, Krimbo will fall here. He does, but Tabson's right there for the trade. Never any worry whatsoever for the leader of Big. And Skrunk, he's trying to make something happen here. Flying forward with the MAC-10. Just desperately looking for one more kill at least. There's actually no head armor on Tabson, but it's not going to happen. 
So Big even things up. Inferno. Big had very little control of Banana, as illustrated by Mahone during the death segment. And then we see that it is a different story for Big when it comes to the ramp. They have those nades that they need. It's a lot more straightforward for them in terms of that engagement. Do have their eye on this bomb site. Oh, that smoke. He's, he's not aware, is he? Sin, he's gonna realize anyway. The flash is there, but Soulfly able to survive. It felt like he should 100% have been dead. What a need on top here, and a follow-up will take down Soulfly. Tabson again, leading from the front and trying to defend the bomb side. And now it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. Corey versus Searson. The bomb is gonna be planted at the minimum. Searson, slight element that's picked up an M4 instead. Looking for him, but hasn't spotted him yet. Wow, this is a hard bomb site to look for, and Corey's oh. gonna win the fight. Look at how low he is. Tapson and then subsequently Sersen. That's massive for this guy's confidence. And it's huge for Sangal. Because now they have an opportunity to truly build off of that. And yeah, this is the beginning of the upset. That's what it feels like right now, isn't it? Oh, Krimbo has something to say about it. Nice headshot to bring down QB. A little bit of a lineup here, but struck a lot of targets. And he almost got distracted behind it. Oh, don't, don't die. <laughs> Makes the jump down. Breaks his shins, but he's all right. He's walking it off. Yeah, Fozzy to take down Searson. And they're sort of just walking in one at a time now. It feels like big to, to try and take the fight out here. Flank absolutely found by a soul fly. Yeah, no strong plan being shown by big in this one, but taking the duels. Okay, that's the bomb. That's interesting because Skrunk has 19 HP and Tapson has a chance to take an AK into this. That is massive. Okay, one-on-one -on -one situation, but Corey is right behind him. Yeah, he bounced it off and land, but that may be too much. Had to give up the position as well. Sneaking in now. Looking for it, Corey, though. The pre-fire was there. He had the right idea. The He was the contingency plan in this one for Sangal. The lurk towards middle. Nice openers, but yeah, Tapson really, he was so close in this one. A couple options there, and he, he wanted to go for the big flank. Just that Corey was, and he's going for the swing. Okay, this is a lot of information, but it might be a bad timing because everyone from Sangal is swinging. A miracle to even find a single kill. And Sersen is rotating in rather quickly. That feels like if you're keto, you swing on that one, you just get on the radio and you say, it's all clear, and then there's like three people shooting at you the next second. Not all clear at all. Searson's gonna be taken down Fozzy. Ready for more? He's finally got that AWP out, and Krimbo there to back him on up. That's right. One AK left on the side of St. Garland. B looking for the equalize, looking to tie the game back up 5-5. Ooh, Kyo. Playing around that smoke beautifully. Getting the better of Soulfly. It's Tapson that collects the frag, but an assist from the man that was forward. Now, Corey, we've seen how deadly can be with the Deagle, but because they should be aware of, does he need to even turn from it? But Sersen, it's time to impose himself. Gets the opener on the Soulfly. Keto spamming down as well. Gets one from the short side, and he's going for more. He's double dipping, and it's working out. Five versus two. Big are putting their stamp on ramp. I love to see that flash that Tabson threw to secure the second kill for Keto. Because that was, he was so blind on that ramp. I wonder where that came from. And push down real far here. QB might be hard to turn this corner. He's going to be dead. His CSM will take him down. Seven to five as big. Ozzy's holding the line right now. This might be the, the flash setup taps and needs. Perfect flash, as a matter of fact. But Fozzy still finds the trade. Keeps the numbers in favor of Sangal. Worry, Krimo getting spotted back here is real bad news. Preemptively putting down the smoke. Seeing the Molotov coming, you knew that was going to happen. 35 seconds, Sin is there to help him out. That is great. Look at this. Sin going to be taking down Corey as well. Fozzy and QB left two versus three, and they finally managed to clear up. But they know, they know Krimbo is back here, and they have to respect that and worry a little bit about it. 20 seconds on the clock. Swing could not have been better timed, and now QB versus Searson, one versus one. That smoke is fading. Second one is just up, and a miss shot, a very rare miss coming out from Searson. Whiff right there at the end. I mean, he's been having a great time once he's picked up the op, and this was a bit strange from, from Sin, I'll say. There was kind of a swing behind default, and it was under no pressure, no duress, and yet 
Here's a second pop flash. He's gonna swing in. It's the entire team. What a spray! Skrunk nearly dead. That is almost a triple. Krimbo and Keto, that's a deadly combination. An exchange of mollies now. Skrunk, he's gonna peek behind his. Krimbo is ready for it. He's seen that trick before, which leaves Fozy and Corey. They're right here at the ramp, spotted by Sersen. Now just Fozy. He's aware of the player positions on big. But he has so many fights that he has to win. Oh, there's one. And nope, it will be Sersen that takes him down. Op v Op to close things out. Ooh, all right. Good bit of throwback right there. It's definitely on here. Nine to six in the first half. Second half is coming right up. And this is to stay in the tournament. This is for the tournament life right at the moment. Nice sneaky kill. Keto opening up with a double Glock and nearly finding a third. Look at the tags. He is just wrecking this mid defense. There was four people here and now they're running away from him. Oh, he's doing everything. Getting the assist on the last one. Nearly a quad kill on Keto. That is beautiful. Or knew what was coming next. That is a, that is a methodical clear coming out from him. Big, they love the mechanical ability on this guy, and you can see why at all these peaks. But Soulfly, I don't know if he knows his butt sticking out there. That's a little bit of an oversight. Oh, this is a, this is a duel for Soulfly. Oh, man, he just has his <laughs> nade out. Oh, the molly, it almost blinded him, actually. There, The flames are right in his face. Okay, Sersen's still charging forward. What is this? This is unexpected, and it goes punished. That is, is so aggressive that it actually almost worked, because you could tell the incoming CTs were not ready. They had just knives out trying to run there to pick up the action. Sin gets a little bit spammed. Fozy gets a little bit in return. It's a classic Vertigo experience. People shooting through smoke, and you're never really sure what's happening on the other side. Krimbo. Yeah, he's got the right idea. No, it is up to Keto to alleviate some pressure. Or if this he gets is found. Tough. If Krimbo dies, it's all over. It doesn't matter what's happening in the middle. But oh, there's the kill on Keto. Five seconds, and they can just peek him. There's nothing that he could do right here. Krimbo, yeah, he gets the kill, but they will still lose the round. I almost, I appreciate them trying it. This could have worked out, but man, that it definitely is. Krimbo finds the opener towards mid. Wow, he is very far up mid. Now, Keto, he has an option to actually keep on aggressing. There is a panic amongst Sangal now. They are scattering. They're trying to find where they need to be rotating, but it looks like Big are in firm control. They're, they're reading them. Big, Big's, Big knows what's going on right now, and it's Sangal that's playing catch up. Yeah, they're getting kicked apart from the inside out. It almost feels like Krimbo infiltrating the lineup, and Sin will get the last couple of kills here. Needs not doing too much, but Soulfly finding Sin on top of the can't hunt him down. Tamsin, he feels like all he has to do is follow him and he'll be able to get the kill. But they just keep getting traded in here and it's absolutely beautiful. Skrunk on the triple and Searson alone, one versus five. Yeah, we're talking about the Searson off and it couldn't even get activated in this round. It was the rifles. Probably would have had a, a decent spray down on at least one or two players there. Does he spot them? Down right below! I don't know. He didn't see them through the grading at all. QB goes down for free practically. And now they sense the weakness. They want to go for it here. Deep nade. Just going to be a flashbang for now. Otherwise, maybe that would have blown up Corey completely. Molotov, yeah. That's the right tool for the job. Going to be forcing them out. Corey's dead already. And Skrunk is feeling the pressure. He's going to go down to Tabs and Posey and Soulfly. They got to be careful. They don't have that much money either. They can't afford to just throw away all the rifles. Big just picked apart every defender from Sangal, and it looks like they might do that to Fozy as well. Keto, he, he seems to know that this is what's happening. Just walking so casually through the smoke right there. Surely be heartbreaking given how well they played. Soulfly return opening, getting that one, and he's going to pick it up on Keto as well. Out in the open, Corey. If you get pump flashed here, you're probably just going to be dead, but he's going to get the kill and just make a retreat. Attempt at a return from Tapson, but that's a that's. This is interesting. I see this boost attempted all the time, and I feel like it almost never works. It just feels like people always come off it a little bit too soon. But this time, they take out Tapson, and it's a good start. The flash coming over the wall, though another one on Scrunk. He can't see a thing, and he's going to be going down. Keto with a double opening before Fozy shows up. Molotov, then smoke, and the continued pressure from Sin. I love this position. This is super sick. They might not check it. They might be just not aware. And there it is. Corey walks right into the shot. Sin eventually goes down, but Searson able to catch QB and Fozy. What do you do now? Bomb is planted. Did you have a smoke and a kit? Maybe it's worth it to just try it. 
he wants to go 15. for it. Yeah, he does, but you are going to have to re-smoke this one. I think it's going to fade any second now. Tabs it, and just looking for a peek. None coming this way. And now they're going to know as well. Missed opportunity, and now it's all in. He can't fake it any longer. Crimbo takes him down. Going to be looking for an opening. This might actually work out. He might have a hard time escaping, but he could maybe find the first kill. Tabs is bumping in. Tumi can't see a thing. And somehow the CTs come out on top. Wow, chaos all around. Yeah, I can't believe Scrum pushed down. Oh, nice shot by Cersei in there. That is quick. QB. Oh, he doesn't know that this player's here. And Sin now he spotted the shadow out. Three on three. Corey defending with a CZ towards B. If he falls, this B is ripe for the taking. He's up close and he needs to nail every bullet. Yeah, Foz is coming up behind him, so might be a little bit of a chance. There's the opening. MP9 right on time. Couldn't have been better. Crimbo back here, but. He doesn't want to shoot through too much. He's picked up the AK. And there's another kill for Fozzy. The MP9 doing God's work in this round. Searson on his own. One versus two. Missing a couple of shots. And they're right next to him in the smoke. He has got no way to know. He actually turned around for it, but still going to get shot in the back. Man, that is close. 15. They have the right flashbang at the right corner here. Then Corey could be in a lot of trouble. Even if he's got some backup behind him, you've got to be real careful here. They're thinking about it. Setting it up. There's the flash shot over, but it's pretty easy to dodge. Corey comes back in with a pretty decent spray and tabs and burning behind that Molotov. QB's going to be ready for this follow-up. Kind of running out of bullets. It's a bit awkward, but um, still trying the best that he can. Sin will take him down. Bomb is lost, though, and it's a one versus three. Yeah, pistols back out. There's no more bullets in that one. Then Soulfly will get... Skrunk is on a flank down below. I don't know how this is going to be playing out. There's QB with the opening kill and Soulfly to follow it up, and I think that's it. It's fallen apart in this one. Skrunk is going to be sneaking on in. There's some easy kills for him to take. Tabson finally there, but it is way too late. 15-14. It's going to come down to the 30th round. Spray not quite connecting. Skrunk on the one side, Corey on the other. And they're going to become charging through the jump right over. He almost has the perfect tracking in the middle. Yeah, Searson, though, picking up two kills in return. And now it's a three on three. Nobody on the bomb side. The bomb, though, not making its way there. The HE onto Searson. And now they're in trouble. Sin, one versus three. And that smoke, it's just making his life hell. Skrunk will take him down. It's overtime. 15-15. He'll be waiting for a signal. Does he want to push up? If they boost right in front of him, he might be in a little bit of trouble jumping on over, but the trade is instant. Nicely done from Sin. Yeah, they're covered behind the curtain right now, so that's at least something to think about, but I agree. That looked almost bordering on crazy. It's going to be paying off right here as he gets the kill on Keto. Back into a three on three, and he nearly had that one. Searson, though, able to pick up the return. Skrunk and Corey both here with 25 seconds left. They have the right read. The bomb is right around the corner, so Big should be committing to it. They're going to be showing up in style here. Sin dropping the bomb, though. 15 seconds on the clock. Corey and Skrunk just saving the round. Excellent two versus three, and they just they clean up all the kills right then and there. Right, we see the A ramp control very swiftly taken this time around, and Krimbo winning a mid fight. Corey has not done that very often, and the first time he does, he bites the dust. But now. Keto, he's angry. Oh my he god. He is upset about the result of the previous round, and he just wants to charge on forward. Yeah. Oh, almost spots Fozzy as well. He chose violence, didn't he? <laughs> wow. That one too. Oh wow. Yeah, flank. Not really gonna make a big difference here. One versus five for QB. And he's gonna walk into the shot. Searson with the last one there, but obviously Keto. This this feels like aimbots to me. Yeah. Oh. And, and he just also held for the Skrunk peak. Yeah. Like, well, some players... Yeah, but they're all showing up. It's so late. 30 seconds. They, they have to commit to this. They're looking at it. They know Skrunk could be here. Timing is everything. He's got some teammates showing up on the other side. Oh, this could work. Sankal, they're showing up. They're taking all the attention. Skrunk walking up behind them, and it's a beautiful triple spray down. Rocking big in this round. Keto, no chance there. And Searson surely confused. The two what? for one nade. Eight seconds left, but the bomb is too far. He can't win the round. He could try, but it's going to be too late. Soulfly with the last one. Oh my. That was a great re aggress towards the ramp. That completely confused Big. And you saw that he was waiting for so long. Choosing the perfect moment to strike is Skrunk. That is well done from him. And even though Searson was able to find a double nade right there, the bomb. Is he going to see anything down below? 
Looked like it could have been a bit dangerous. There's the boost, but Sin is ready for it. Still gonna go down. Nice wall bang from Fozzy. No need of the- A lot of information for the side of Big. Oh, what is that? Fozzy just shoots through the smoke. If they lose this round, they're about to get knocked out of the tournament. Crimbo alone in the B-bomb site. If they come through the middle right now, how is he meant to hold this on his own? They're all going to be running at him. Yep, he's here in the footsteps calling it in, saying, I'm in a lot of trouble here. 17 seconds, and he only gets the one kill. Now, that's not enough here. Oh, man, two versus three, and they're going to get a very clean bomb plant. This might just not be doable for Big. They are so far removed from this round. If Sersen's presented any opportunity, that may entice them. But bomb's already halfway ticked. Nothing found yet. It's hard to justify this. Yeah, setting up a Molotov deep, but um, already running into Corey. Searson on his own, and Corey with the knockout. A CT smoke. Careful now, Sin. Oh no, Sin. Yeah, that smoke is going to be fading, and he's just backtracking towards the site. 23 seconds. A lot of people on the other side. Deep Molotov as well, but he's hiding maybe a good position for him. He overpeaks it just a tiny bit, and they knock out Krimbo. Oh, dear. Two versus four, and just 10 seconds on the clock. They're going to go straight for the bomb plant and not going to be denied either. Keto and Tabson in a lot of trouble, holding on to Big's tournament life in this one. Nikito just trying to hope in the edge shot, but he'd love to find a free kill. They need that right now, but they're not going to be allowed to get it either. Skrunk takes down one, and Tabson is now in a dreadful one versus three. They know where he is, and they're all ready to fight him. 19, 16, and Sangal, absolute huge upset, and taking down big. That is a massive win for Sangal here to get it done on Inferno and to go the distance into overtime on Vertigo and finish the job. Well done. Two rounds on T side right there. That's the difference maker for Sangal. Props to everybody on this team.